Dun 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 dun. The card quick show. Dun 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 dun. Greetings everyone. I'm Carton Craig, host Shrek Rose, and here's another episode of the Carton Craig Show. You know, in many movies we watch when we grow up, and well, most of the time they have sad scenes to make you want to tear You know, from death, destruction, or never come back again. It's just one of the sad times when we're as a kid to grow up. So, I'm just kind of done. another top five. Yep, it's another top five. It's called Says Endings in Anime Films. But be warned, there will be dubbing elements and also a spoiler alert to the thinking um, if you didn't see these movies, you probably will be terrified. So, spoiler alert. Okay, let's go to this. Alright, number five. The Almost Death of Christy, Cabers Movie 2, A New Generation. This has become the worst sequel ever made, but let's get to the point of the, from the ending. When Christy is trying to save the Care Bears by the evil Dark Heart, and she got crystallized uh, when she rescued the Care Bears when the, the chandelier of Crystal is shattered to pieces. So that means her name is now Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was trying to make it sad here, not, not trying to make it funny. Oh, sorry. Mm. Alright, <clears throat> well, here's the point for that. When the Care Bear surround her and Queen Darkheart, he said, what have I done? It just makes you want to put in the Lincoln Park song. But it was like a, a sad scene when Chris was about to die, but but here's the thing though. They rip off of that uh, pure pan when Tinkerbell got hurt. And they just want her magic to call stronger instead of this pain or something like that. <laughs> it's but, when they did, but when they did that, that was that was not that good. And that's why the sequel stinks and it's been for over 30 years. Thanks a lot, um, green cards. Hooray! Uh, but, however, the death of the Chrissy is still the sad scene ever, because I just feel bad for her. But, but that's the reason why I give up a top five because it's one of the worst sequels. So it still stays number five. So we're done with that. So let's get to number four. The Death of Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Aww. Yeah, at the end of the film, well, probably at, almost at the end of the film, when um, Wilbur is about to be <laughs> killed because um, the farmer thinks he's about to end his life. But the good news is Charlotte... Uh, the spider just give some symbols uh, based upon the E.B. White's classic tale and book. But it goes into the Misma Park, and uh, when he became the most famous pig ever, he's been saved from his life. But for Charlotte, not very much. She just got birth a lot of babies in the big nest, but she has no will to live. So she sing a song and say goodbye to him and Charlotte died. It was very sad. It's one of the sad scenes in the anime film. But it is going to the book. Yes. But it was very sad to see Charlotte gone. I bet you feel sad as a one to one these spiders can kill. Well if I was a jerk as a one one of her kids, I will just say Pork rinds <laughs> Pork rinds. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it's it's pretty sad, and when yeah. you watch that with the music playing, oh, that was very sad. But it is a very good, heartwarming ending for that movie. But it's still, but still, it's a very sad one. So if you like Charles Webb, yeah. All right, let's get to the one. Uh, time and again, the Enchanted Forest. Short, short. Uh, here's a short story for this one. Pierre Pellet is a painter. He goes the forest he's enchanted with powers mm -hmm. and she can he can communicate with animals however at the end when um that evil cat is king just revived as a good king everything's back to normal and he has no powers left so he packs his stuff and leaves and when it gets to the end credits it has a song called time again it was one of the most sad songs ever made because when you hear that you'll probably get teary eyed that's been pretty sad for that one, but but M. Chef Forest, it's still a good classic for over thirty years. You know, what's, you know what's funny though? What? It's, it's like the afros are like the mushrooms. I'm thinking, hmm. <laughs> are you trying to run this video or what? Yep. 
Jerk. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, let's get to number two. Okay. Snippy's leaving. Snippy, come home. Oh yeah. In the anime, that was that was depressing. In yeah, in the anime musical um, sequel for the Peanuts, this is Snippy's uh, first point. I mean, his title film. When um at the end, when Snippy just go visit with Lila, who's been hospitalized, um, he's about to think in that he, he's want to come back to his rich owner and leave Tribro and everyone behind. Mm-hmm. And for that scene, when they have this uh, farewell party at by Carryite, that was very sad. And then they get to the song called "It Changes." Oh, with that song and that scene, it'll make you teary-eyed beyond belief. It, it does. Well, Whatever. And I guess who wrote the songs? The Oscar-winning guys, Sherman Brothers, did the same movie Charles Webb on the same year. Well, all I gotta say is, oh, there's a happy ending. He does come home. Spoiler. That's okay, but it but but it could have been said if it happens if he gone back to Hawaii. That would kill the franchise. That's true. All right, and then the number one set ending in anime films goes to the Iron Giant sacrifice the Iron Giant. Yep. This is one of my all-time favorite movies from Brad Bird himself before he worked with Disney. Even though it's unsuccessful, but it's still called classic to this date. Yep. He befriends. With this boy named Hogarth. Hogarth. <laughs> That's a name. And um, they always had made crap adventures, but he realized when he did something almost violently killing him, but he's going to show the world that he's made with heart and soul. But thanks to Mansley, the jerk hood. Chris McDowell, boy, that guy sucks. <laughs> he just let the bomb, I mean, bomb missile at him. And about to hit a Rockwell main and it killing everyone. So he made a big sacrifice to save everyone. And that, if when Hogarth just look at, at the star, it's like uh, with te- tears a little bit. That was one of the saddest endings in history of anime films. Hey, E.T., everyone. Uh, that's a live action. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it deserves the number one for saddest ending in anime films. Spoiler alert. The Iron Giant's fine. He regenerates. He builds but himself back to there's no normal. sequel, so... Oh, that would be awesome if there was a sequel. Yep, and also, we ran out of time, so that's it for the top five sets and enemy films. If you have questions, comments, or you liked it, this top five, just visit these websites or subscribe us on YouTube. Thank you, everyone. I'm Chuck Rose. Good night. Dun, 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 dun.